This is the Open E Tuning Tutorial Part 2. In this segment, we'll look at some chords that diatonically fit with the key of E, and we'll look at how we'll have to alter the fingerings to make them work with this tuning. Of course, we already talked about how we could bar across six strings to make major bar chords. But to get sort of the open tuning type of sound, let's add drones to each chord. And what we're going to do is have an open first string and open second string ringing over every chord. So that'll add an E and a B on the top of every chord. So we're still thinking of these, these fingerings as being the actual chord that's associated with this key, but these will uh, produce some other extensions that could make them other chords, but we'll just be thinking of them as the chords we as associate with the key of E. So of course for an E major, we could just play all open six strings. For F sharp minor, try adding the second finger to the sixth uh, string second fret, the third finger, to the 4th string 2nd fret, and the 1st finger to the 1st fret 3rd string. And so notice with that, we get an F sharp minor, and then we're just adding an E and a B on top of that. For the G sharp minor, which is the 3rd chord of this key, you can take this same fingering and move it 2 uh, frets forward to the 4th fret and the 3rd fret. For an A major chord, take your 2nd and 3rd finger, move it 1 fret forward to the 5th fret, add the 4th finger behind on the 5th fret 3rd string. That has a pretty modern sound to it. We're taking an A major chord and adding a ninth on it with that uh, open B string. We'll go up 2 more frets with that same fingering to the 7th fret for a B major. For a C sharp minor type of sound, we can take the second and third finger, move up two frets to the ninth fret, and use the first finger on the eighth fret of the third string. And for a chord that we could use over in place of the seventh chord, we could take the same fingering and move it up two frets. Um, this is leaving the fifth out of this diminished chord, so it's not actually a D sharp diminished, but we could use it in its place. So it's more like a sort of a B chord that's not in uh, root position, but we can get away with it. So in context, running all those together, you'll notice that cool open tuning drone. Hi, I'm Eric Monguet, and uh, today I'm going to try and show you how to manage to play uh, the Silent Fool. First chord right here is a uh, harmonics, these two notes picked. So you just use your mid finger here to take the harmonics without touching these two strings. <laughs> <laughs> 